Hello again, everybody. Quick tip video for you today. Something that's been bugging me for probably more than a year now. Audacity is an excellent audio editor on Linux, Mac, Windows. It runs just about anywhere and it does a great job of multi-track mixing, editing, filters. Basically, it's an excellent multi-purpose audio editing tool. And unfortunately, I've been having a problem with it where it will kill my headphone output and the only way I've been able to fix it is to run an also control restore command from the terminal, but it doesn't prevent it from happening. So literally every single time I open Audacity, this problem happens where I'm getting no output from my headphone jack. Now this is on a laptop, my Dell XPS, although I don't know this could also be happening on other systems, but what I figured out is that Audacity's default input setting is capturing the output device as an input device. And therefore it is disrupting the audio output. So what happens is Audacity starts up, captures that port, and it can no longer output the audio. So if you unplug it, you'll get audio out of your speakers. If you have some other audio device, perhaps USB, Bluetooth, those will all work, but your headphone port will no longer work. It's really frustrating and I never really thought about it enough to figure it out. So I went today looking around and found an answer. I also didn't see that this was reported very much. So maybe this is an obscure thing. Maybe this is only going to help a few people out there. But I'll tell you from my experience, it's just been really frustrating. So I'm really glad I found a solution. Wanted to just make a quick video on it. So here we go. To fix the issue, like I said, you would run also control restore. And what that does is it loads the default driver state for the sound card. It's using a configuration file to do that. If it fails to restore everything, even partially, it'll run an init command instead. You may see out there instructions to run also control init, which is fine. So while you could run init directly instead of restore, it's nice that restore actually has init as a fallback. So if it's able to just use the restore from the configuration file, then it'll just use that. If not, it's gonna automatically call in it. So it seems like a logical place to start and the better command to run. And basically what it does is resets everything back to that default working state. However, however, the volumes that are set and the default devices might be reset. So if you've got multiple inputs and outputs, those things might be reset back to a different default and you may also have to change your volumes again. That's why it was always so annoying because I didn't just have to run this command, I'd also have to then go and reset volumes, both on output and input, and also sometimes change devices. So I'm very happy again to have found this because now that's not going to be a problem going forward. So that fixes the headphone output. If you are running into that, simply run this command and that will reset everything. Now, fixing Audacity so that it doesn't do that anymore. When you launch Audacity, go into the preferences, and under devices, you will want to switch this. By default, it will be headphone mic. And that's what's happening is it's grabbing the headphone jack and taking it over as the microphone port. So if you set this to internal mic and then say, OK, the next time you open it, it won't capture that port. Hence, you won't have to run also control restore. You won't have to reset your volumes. You won't have to reset your devices. And now Audacity will just work the way it was intended to work. So that's it. Simple, quick fix. Like I said, I wasn't able to find this easily. If I had, I would have fixed this a long time ago. It just happened to bother me enough today that I spent extra time digging and looking for it. So hopefully this helps the other people out there that are having this issue. If this doesn't and you're still having issues, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.